It's Demo Donna here with Queen & Company and I am gonna just take a couple minutes and go through the brand new Dog's Life Shaker Kit. So awesome. I am so excited to be sharing this with you. I also have some fabulous card samples by one of our designers, Greta, and please check out queenandcompany.com under the Dog's Life Kit to see some more fabulous samples. I also wanted to point out that there is a dye guide that comes with this kit. So it is gonna show you how to put together all of the shakers that I'm gonna show you here today. So you have the paper form and the video form to check out. More is more. Here are the fabulous samples that we have from one of our great designers, Greta. And I just love the combination. Cute little tag here your bone. She incorporated the dish. You get some add-ons with this kit, which are really fun. Another cool feature about this kit, there are four different dog looks. So for instance, different ears. You can obviously make your little puppy shaker in any color. So a lot of fun. Mix and match those ears. You can have different colors. You can add the paws you can leave the paws off. So really cute. Here is one with the fire hyd hydrant, which I really love, which is also a shaker. And the dog house. And I absolutely love this paw print love shaker because this would be great for cat and dog. So nice and versatile. Now to get in what this kit includes, this kit includes 27 steel dies to create all of your shakers, a six by six paper pad. That is the Dog's Life paper pad. This is a lot of fun, has some really great pattern papers, some really great tone on tone, like this hydrant paper here. Lots of fun, the stripes, the color palette, really, really cute. You also receive what you need to make your shakers, three of each design, the double-sided adhesive foam, as well as the acetate pieces. And of course, everybody's favorite are fabulous stamp sets, which include amazing sayings that coordinate perfectly with the shaker kit. So check out to read all of those at queenandcompany.com. Now to get started, I am gonna make the First one here, the Love Shaker, which is pretty simple. I am using the outline dies, which is an add-on. You have the outline dies as an add-on, as well as the solid paper pads, additional foam refills, additional toppings. Ah, I didn't mention. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven diamond toppings in this kit as well, which are included in this awesome kit. How did I forget the toppings, guys? Unbelievable. All right, so we are gonna get started with the Love with Paw Print. And I did take all of the outline dies and cut those out so I can just make my shakers individually. So this is the outline die here. Take my double-sided foam, remove just that outline, layer that on the outline die just like that, that was a little high. There we go. Pop that inside out. I always save this and use it for extra layering. As you can see here, that foam can be used when you're creating your cards. So don't discard that, keep that for future use. All right, now that I have my background, I can stick my lovely toppings in. I'm gonna be using some white pops. I'm just gonna open that up. Take one of my Queen & Company spoons here and I'm gonna do one, two, two pops. Sprinkle some diamonds in there. There we go. Just to make sure there is enough fun happening in the background. And then I am going to peel off this protective layer, add my acetate. I've stuck a little post-it down 
So I can find my piece of acetate. There we go. Now I've got my shaker backing. I'm going to take my sheer glue. Just do a thin layer of my sheer glue right around. Now, because this is a larger um, decorative die, I'm gonna just add a little sheer glue to some of those extra parts so they don't get pushed around when they're being mailed. Just tap a little sheer glue here and there. There we go. And then layer that down. The really great thing about this particular shaker is you can also use the negative. So you can take the little paws and the love and just add that to a card as well. So it's kind of a double whammy with this one. A twofer. So there is shaker number one, really cute. You could also add in your tan, you can cut that out again, and you can actually take those negative pieces and you can add a tan little paw print in there so your paw print pops as well. All right, shaker number two, I am gonna do the dog bone. So I'm gonna take the outline die first, remove the protective layering over my double-sided foam, pop that out. Now this is one of those designs that when you remove the bone, this piece here is also still the same design. So you can use both of these in your card, which is really fun. I am now going to add some toppings. And I think I'm going to do, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add some white pops. I'm just gonna keep these all really simple. So when I use them in the future to make my cards, I'm not trying to compete with any other design element. So if you're pre-making your shakers, that's kind of a tip that I, I use is to make sure that I don't go too crazy with my designs, keep them all pretty basic. Add some white pops, add some diamonds. Be really cute too to add some of these little hearts. Now these come in your kit. They are another add-on. So you get these cute little bones as well as these cute little hearts. So I'm just gonna take three of them and now I'm gonna peel off. There we go. Add my acetate. Good thing that post-it told me where it was. And I'm just gonna bend it just a little bit. Pop that on. My little heart got in the way. How often does that happen? All right. My heart's got very excited. There we go. Stick that guy back in there. Voila. Now I've got my fun little shaker with my three little hearts in there. And I'm going to add my sheer glue. There we go, a thin layer. Add my decorative die. And now you have a cute little bone. Okay, next we are going to create the really adorable hydrant shaker. So I am going to take, again, I'm going to start with the outline die, which is an add-on to your kit. Because this is a little bit smaller, I'm going to pop it out to begin with. Then I'm going to remove the protective backing. And I'm going to go ahead and layer on my fire hydrant. And then add in my toppings. I am going to use the red diamonds that you get in your kit. So just pop those open. 
sprinkle those in. There we go. And then I am going to remove the protective backing, add on my acetate, There we go, great. Now I've got with this one, you have three different pieces. So you could see here with the die guide, I have the base of the hydrant, which I'm gonna put on first, the top, and then a little bottom detail. So obviously you can have some fun with this, you can add different colors, you can use your hydrant paper. I cut all of these out using the solid paper pad but it would be really fun to mix and match as well. Scooch this guy. I added a little sheer glue. There we go. Then we're going to add our little base piece on. It's the best thing about using the wet adhesive. You have a few seconds to scooch it around, make sure everything fits. And that's why this particular hydrant has three different dyes, so you can use different colors. I kept mine all red, but different colors would be really fun. And I'm gonna show you that sample from Greta. So she used the hydrant paper that comes included in the kit, and the hydrant's the shaker, and the puppy's nice and solid. So really fun. All right, three down, two more to go, two of the really fun ones. So next I'm gonna take the outline die of the dog house and I'm gonna add my foam. I remove the backing, give it a little extra squish, pop that center out. There we go. Now I'm gonna add in my toppings. I think with this one, I am gonna put a couple of bones in here too. No, I'm changing my mind. I am just gonna to add toppings in here and I'm gonna stick with the blues. So I'm gonna take some of the blue diamonds that come in this kit. Throw a couple of those in there. I am gonna add some of my blue pops. And I really love that light blue color. There we go. I'm gonna do probably two or three spoonfuls. One, two, that was a nice big one. Three, there we go. I remembered I'm gonna add my bone as an a, a detail after I put my little shaker together. All right, now that I have my toppings in there, I'm gonna peel off that protective layer. And I am going to layer that on. I started in the center on the top of my house. And there is the base for my shaker. As you can see, I like my shakers nice and full. I am now gonna take my decorative die, add my sheer glue, thin layer. There we go. Put the top of my doghouse on. Very cute. My roof is gonna sit right on top here, so now I'm gonna add another layer of sheer glue to the top of my house so I can add my roof. There we go. Cute. Another thing you could do, flip that over as long as you haven't added too much sheer glue and just give that a nice even press down and now everything is adhered. Now, you also have the door of your doghouse. So this one has the door. 
you've got the roof and of course that decorative die. I'm gonna add that right there. There we go. So you can see here in, in the dies included, the decorative die around the whole house, the roof, the door, and some really fun accent pieces, the bowl and the bone. So I am just gonna take my little bone, add a little sheer glue, and I'm gonna just go just like the photo, add my bone to one side, and then I am gonna use a red dish, and I wanna show you guys a quick little tip on what you do to add two colors to your one die. So I ran this through my little bowl here in red, and then I ran it through in blue. I'm gonna take a little piece of my red liner tape and trim that off. And I'm gonna stick that on the back. It doesn't have to fully cover it, so that is just fine. And now all I'm gonna do is drop in the top of my, my water. There you go. And then you could even use that adhesive so you can just peel that backing off and use that to attach to my dog house there. So there is my cute little dog house. And now we just have one more to go. And let me show you the dog house sample card. So cute. Okay, last but not least, we have our puppy dog. I'm gonna take the outline die, the double-sided foam. Stick them right on there. Pop that off. There we go. Sometimes you really get to work for it. And now with this one, I am just gonna do diamonds so you could see my little doggy eyes. So I am just gonna take my clear diamonds. Ooh, I am also going to, do I wanna use my brown ones? No, I'm just gonna stick with clear. I know, call me crazy. But I want to make sure his eyeballs stand out when I glue his eyes on. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So that's why I've got a nice light background. It's lighter than actual my decorative die that I put together. So now I've removed the backing. I'm gonna take my acetate, lay it down, take my sheer glue, and now I have already gone ahead and assembled most of the details on my puppy dog's face, as you can see here. So what's great about this is a lot of different options. So you can change up his, obviously any color puppy you want, and then the ears, and then you also get paws. So I chose this puppy dog here with the long ears. You've also got the pointy ears. You've got these cute little ears folded down. For my dog, it would be one up, one down. So cute. And then these folded ears as well. And like I said, you also have the cute little paws. You can add the heart to the collar. I cut out a bunch of hearts because I just thought they were so cute. So last but not least, now we have our little doggy shaker. And I am just gonna add two little drops of glue. Here we go. And I'm gonna go right about here and here. And I'm gonna take my little eyeballs that I already cut out, one and two. And I cut out a whole bunch. You all know why. Just in case you lose them, it's good to have backup. So there is my cute little puppy. You can see how his eyes stand out because I used a lighter color background. And there are all five of our shakers included in this fabulous Dog's Life kit. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I cannot wait to see all your creations on our Facebook royalty page. Bye-bye.